So in today's video, which is the first of the series, we are going to discuss the timelines for your master's applications. Hi guys, I'm Streaker and I'm the founder of Gradwine. I did my master's at an Ivy League university and I've helped thousands of students make it to their dream universities all across the world. Today, we are starting a series on YouTube that is going to cover all the information that you will need if you are applying for a master's. I'm talking about covering you from every stage, A to Z. You may not know what documents are required. You may not know what timelines you need to follow. You may not know how to fill the applications. You may not know what recommenders to get. It can be an overwhelming process, but if you follow our separate playlist that we've created, you'll have all your answers. No matter which year you're watching this in, no matter what month of the year you're watching this in, this series will be incredibly useful. So stay tuned to it. As you would know, there are two major intakes for American universities and certain universities in other countries as well. The first is the fall intake. Fall means September or August. This is the traditional start time for pretty much every university in the US. Almost all universities and programs offer a fall intake. Spring is a middle of the year entry, which is usually in the month of January. Now, some programs and some universities offer a spring intake, not all of them offer it. So let's discuss the fall first. Why am I starting with fall? It is because it is the most popular intake among students by and large because of the large number of options available in terms of universities offering it. Here is the timeline you need to follow. Okay, so what if you are watching this video sometime in the future, maybe a couple of years later? Don't worry, just add one year to all the years that I mentioned and the timeline remains the same. It has for the past decade or so. For fall 2024, your preparation starts all the way in January 2023. So almost one year and eight months in advance. In the month of January, it is a good time to start your GRE prep. GRE prep usually takes two to three months, but of course it varies from individual to individual. But in whichever case, by the month of April, you'll be in a good position to give your first attempt of the GRE. Now, understand that universities don't care about how many attempts you give on the GRE. And usually, your score tends to improve if you give more than one attempt. If you're not satisfied with your score in the April attempt, try and take one more or maybe two more attempts, whatever it is, by the 15th of August, no later than that. In this timeline, post your first attempt or between the first and second attempt, you can try and give the IELTS or TOEFL as well because you're in that flow of preparation. Whatever it is, August 15th is the final time by which you have to finish your test course. All right, so now your tests are done and you're all set to work on your documents. You're in the month of August and this is a crucial time because you have to address two elements of the application which almost always get delayed. In the month of August, reach out to your professors and get their approval for the recommendation letters. Also inform them about how many universities you might apply to so that they're ready to upload LOR so many times. August is also a good time to get in touch with your academic cell to get your transcripts. Get individual transcripts because they will have to be uploaded in your application and the college might delay. Try and finish this by the month of August. August is also a good time for you to start working on your statements of purpose. Statements of purpose will take about two to three months depending on how your personal timelines are and how your work pressure is. If you start off in August, you'll have ample time to finish your SOPs before your deadlines. Considering that your deadlines may be as early as the middle of October or the first week of November, it is crucial that you start the SOP sometime in the middle of August because that gives you a good two months to try and get the perfect documents ready and you can upload the applications without a hassle. You'll have to understand that deadlines for the fall intake are very broad. Your earliest deadline can be as early as October 15th whereas you'll find the later deadlines somewhere around the end of April as well. But however, like I said to summarize, your earliest deadlines are between October 15th and November 15th. The maximum number of deadlines for most colleges are either December 15th or Jan 15th. Keep in mind that the deadlines for most tier 1 colleges in round 1 will be done by January 15th. Keep in mind that applying early is always an advantage for you because universities may tend to start reviewing applications well before the deadline. If a university says that they have rolling deadlines, this means that seats will be allotted on a first come first served basis. So for universities like these, even if the deadlines are much later, definitely, definitely apply two to three months prior because your chances of getting in increase greatly. Even universities that don't mention a rolling deadline and have a fixed deadline have offered admits to students before the deadline has come itself 
which indicates that they are reviewing applications far before the set deadline. So I've summarized the entire timeline that you have to follow if you are applying for a fall intake for a master's program. Now there are several other things you have to keep in mind apart from just the timelines and we'll be covering every one of those things in great detail in our subsequent videos. If you follow this entire playlist, you'll have all the information you need to crack your dream admit. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, turn the bell icon so that you get notifications and follow us for the best information on the planet with respect to your master's program applications. As always, don't be overwhelmed, don't stress because we are always here to help.